Well, how do there, people in the viewerverse? Right, so this is a very different video from me, Captain of the Steves, for you, the people in the viewerverse. So yes, this is going to be about PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 store, because a lot of you people out there in the viewerverse are probably going to get lucky this Christmas and get yourself a PlayStation 5. And you're probably thinking, well, what is on the PlayStation store? What game shall I install? Well, shall we go and have a look at the PlayStation store so here we go let's jump on over here i am inside my lovely swanky menu so this is a lovely swanky menu for the plastation you can see there i haven't got many games installed at all but if i go into the playstation store you can scroll on down and you can see there's quite a lot of new titles due for release at the very top what's hot and then the top 10 games in your country blah -de blah -de blah very nice but where i like to go is if you scroll down to the bottom you've got playstation 5 playstation 4 free to play and you've got ps vr 2 i haven't been in there we'll have a look in there at the end but if i go into playstation 5 games boom it should list all the new games at the top so a lot of these would have just been announced inside of the game awards and there's a lot there for you to cast your eye peepers over people in the view of us one that i've just added to my watch list is this one you can see that it's on my watch list because i've added a little heart to it at the top there heck yes monster hunter rise and i can't wait for that that looks freaking darn epic it really does and so yeah that's probably going to come to my channel the only thing is with capcom games is they like doing weird strikes for no real reason so it can be very hard to bring content streamed or otherwise to a channel it can be really tedious to stream capcom games i really wish capcom would just relax a little bit on that sort of stuff another one that i've just added is also wild hearts which again looks a little bit like monster hunter in its sort of aesthetics made by ea though I'm not a massive fan of EA games over the years. There's been the odd one or two that I've really enjoyed and others that have just missed the mark massively. Hogwarts Legacy, I've added it to the wish list, but these two, I'm, I'm going to watch reviews on both of them. There's things with both of them that make me feel very sceptical about those two titles. Anyway, so a lot of the time you're going to be given a lot of things at the top um, and, and they're going to sometimes have special discounts like this one. You can save yourself £2 on this one. Freaking bargains. <laughs> yeah, deliver us from us Mars. Okay, fairly nice. Looks quite cool. I like the aesthetics of the robots and the suit and things like that. The only thing is with Mars, it's just one planet, isn't it? Uh, hold on. Why is there snow on that scene? That's a bit weird. Anyhow, yeah, it's probably not going to appeal to me, to be fair, that one. But then you get stuff like this. It's got a very interesting looking sort of thumbnail. now. Doesn't tell you a price. It just says that it's just announced. And you end up clicking on them and taking a look. And it looks like a freaking Mega Drive game. Yeah, from back in the day. But it's quite a cute little robot, isn't it, that one? It is quite sweet. But even still, it's not quite a PlayStation 5 game. And this is where I would say that there's a bit of a problem, a bit of an issue with the actual store here. So if I keep scrolling down a little bit further, because I I come across things that really annoyed me um, a little while ago. So you've got this one here, the Jumpin' Casadilla, okay? So this, yeah, is like a little Jumpin' freaking sandwich, yeah? Well, if you carry on going, there's, I think there's one a bit further up. I'm, yeah, look, you've got the Jumpin' Tofu. It's exactly the same game by exactly the same person. And uh, yeah, it's... It's just a different image that you're making jump on the screen okay it's just dodgy as fudge so what i would say is if you are buying a playstation 5 for a son or daughter and they're quite young or something and you give them maybe 50 quid and go go on go and buy yourself some games they're probably going to put the filter on to try and get as many games as they possibly can and they might end up just buying a whole freaking selection of these jumping sandwich jumping fruit jumping chocolate santa games that are exactly the same bloody game and if you go on youtube and you type in the jumping fafalia or whatever this thing is or falafel or whatever yeah it's just you press x and uh yeah or you can actually just hold it or you can press it either up to you and it just makes the food jump and if you've made it jump like 50 times it comes up and you've got a trophy for doing 50 jumps that's the that's the whole freaking game and for some reason, Sony are approving these left, right and centre. And there's loads of these things. And it's exactly the same bloody game. And there's all sorts of other stuff on here, like um, odd little games that look like they've been 
hammered together within five seconds. I mean, sorry if you're the maker of this game, I really am, but it's because there's so much of this on here that it just feels like it's just been chucked on and it's very hard to find things on the PlayStation Store that might actually jump out and appeal to you. And then there's other stuff on here that's a little bit ropey and a little bit sort of, hmm, that's a bit pervy. There's, there's all sorts of weird sorts of... Uh, hentai sort of games where you've got women that take this front and center that have just got massive jugs for no apparent reason wearing virtually next to nothing amongst other games that you probably would like like the remake of joe mac the caveman ninja this is from the old amiga days oh my days that looks freaking glorious you know it's just really tricky to come across stuff that you might want to actually play amongst stuff like the jumping pumpkin which is exactly the same freaking game that you saw earlier but with just a few different sort of tweaks to the aesthetics it's mm, it's very questionable this store i really feel that that um, sony need to do more in separating out the games maybe have an indie dev area Maybe even have a pervy freaking hentai area for those that are into it. I mean, look at that. Look, pretty girl escape. At least this one, I think, is, yeah, it's, it's put in some sort of Tetris element into it. But even still, you've got stuff like this going on in the sidebar. Some girl with a jugs out with wearing a skimpy pair of pants. It's not great. If you've gone and bought this for a teenage son and they're just going to span all their money on that sort of stuff, be careful. You've got this, like Stroke the Tortoise. You've got Stroke the Fish, Stroke the Cobra. Look, there's a whole freaking farm of these freaking games. And guess, Go onto YouTube and type in Stroke the Tortoise to see what this game is all about. And it's freaking terrible. It just looks like that. That's exactly how the game looks. Okay, and every time you go to stroke the turtle, you just press X, the turtle flashes. Flash, flash, flash. That's all it freaking does. That's a game, apparently. That's allowed on this store, apparently. It's um, not great. And you've got the lady in a leotard with a gun. I mean, check this out. It's, it's like the Atari Jaguar games from back in the day. I'm sure this is probably somebody's first attempt at making a video game. And you know what? For a very first attempt at making a video game, it's probably great. But then they've got exactly the same game on here, like three times, and it's Lady in a Leopard Skin Leotard, or something like that. And it's pretty much the same game with a slightly different skin with no extra additional effort added into it. It's, and, and there's loads of drivel like that on there. What the fudge is this? Freezer Pops, what the? Seriously? Oh, this is this is the opposite way around. I guess this is where you get to find yourself a hunk or something that you can have as an online virtual date or something. Lovely. I mean, I thought this might be the jumping sushi, but it's not. This is actually a different game, and it's a bit more like Parappa the Rapper, which might actually be fun. It could be quite easily lost, though, amongst all those jumping frickin' fruit games. I mean, let's face it. Now, you've got um, Tunic here, which is a little bit of a zelda clone. Quite nice as a zelda clone. It's more isometric, though, but it has that sort of whimsical Zelda sort of look with the little shield and the, the sword and stuff and the little green tunic. Very quite nice. Very quite nice and graphically beautiful. If you do want a Zelda clone, check this out as far as Zelda clones go. Look at this. Mental. The trailer's a bit weird because it throws in a load of real life sort of situations too. There you go. I'll shut up for a second. Prepare for an adventure that will take you back in time. Take a stand and face the looming evil that is taking over Engard as we speak. For you are the only one able to keep it at bay. Don't fret, for you will find powerful runes and artifacts along your journey. Oh yes, I think you can agree. That is very Zelda-y cloning, isn't it? But yeah, there's, there's all sorts on here. I mean, there's something where you kind of click on it, you kind of half expect to know what it's going to be. I mean, look at that, it's just... It's, it's wrong, it's, it, but then it could be right. I don't know. I don't know enough about this sort of stuff. I've never actually installed a game like that, honest. <laughs> But there we go. The jumping churios. Yeah. Seriously, it's um, it's beyond silly. It's beyond silly, and the store is full of it, and it kind of detracts from stuff. 
Like this looks a bit like Rastan from the old freaking Sega Master Systems and Mega Drives. Oh, that, uh, that actually does look like Rastan. And some awesome pixel art that has gone into this. Heck yes, look at that, boom. Even got the same sort of sword swing. Chow. Yeah, take that, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, at the same time, this is PlayStation 5 and it's, it's very difficult to find the games that you would say are PlayStation 5 games. I mean, the graphics on that, that kind of actually is quite snazzy, actually. Yeah, quite nice. Well, yeah. it's tricky because you've got so much shite on there mixed in with things that are like, oh, mm, actually, that might be okay to give it a whirl. So it's very tricky to find stuff. So what I end up doing is that going over to here, I mean, look, you've got all the Flappy Bird clones as well, and there's hundreds of those too. It just gets really, really tricky to find stuff, is what I'm saying to you. And also, yes, don't just let your kids or whatever say, right, go on and go and go and order whatever game you want, because they're going to end up with they're going to end up with stuff like this. They're going to end up with stuff like that, and it's going to be like having a mobile phone rather than having a PlayStation Five, and it, 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 you, you don't want that, do you? I mean, come on. Anyways, if I go over to the filters over the side here, I find if you go to price and then just hit up, say, £20 all the way up to above 50 that's going to give you roughly the PlayStation 5 games that you probably wouldn't mind spending money on. The only trouble is, you know, it, this also goes and removes anything that might be in a sale that might be freaking awesome. So you're probably going to... It, it's a tricky one. But that's, that's one little tip that I've got for you into trying to find half-decent games. But then sometimes you get the odd person that has made a pretty dodgy game and then just stuck a stupidly dodgy price on it. Because that happens too. So you, you've still got to be careful. <laughs> it's, um, it's a tricky one. So there we are. That's my review on the PlayStation Store. The PlayStation 5 is a fantastic console, don't get me wrong, but then the actual store itself, I don't think there's many people actually vetting what goes on here or looking of decent ways to filter them out to, to, to help remove them from view. It's like those jumping tacos or whatever. They should just be in one screen. You know, like when I picked up that the stroke of turtle and you saw them all underneath. That should be it. So if you clicked on one, it shows all of them. And then that's it. They're bundled or something. Because, yeah, it, it's it's craziness having them like that. It's it's odd. It's odd that there's no sort of um, vetting going on inside of this store. Let's put it that way. Anyway, people... Oh, Project Zero! Oh, I used to like that back in the day. You're only armed with a camera and you have to take photos to see the ghosties. It can be really freaking freaky. And the actual story was very freaky deaky as well. That was quite cool. That might be something to bring to the channel maybe one Halloween. But yeah, pretty darn awesome. But there we go, peeps. That'd be awesome in VR if they had that game in VR. In fact, you know, like the old Supernatural, the TV show, it'd be awesome if there was a video game based on that, wouldn't it? Going around hunting werewolves, vampires, ghosties, demons, all sorts of other shenanigans, yeah. There we go. I bet uh, this one looks This one looks a bit dodgy. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Let's have a quick look. Well, it might not be, actually. That that might actually appeal to some markets, you know? But it, it's, it's tricky to know whether there's a decent title or whether somebody's just chucked something together within five minutes and chucked it on the store. There we go, people. That's my overview of um, the actual PlayStation Store. So the PlayStation 5, awesome console. PlayStation Store needs some freaking work. Um, you would have thought that Sony would have been on it, um, but obviously not from what I'm seeing. But there we go, that's my that's my gripes with the PlayStation Store. And um, yeah, if you are getting the PlayStation 5, hope you enjoy it on your Christmas. Heck yes. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs>